Yo, man, I'm really excited to dunk. I never did that dunk session when I was in Seattle, really. I did a couple jump workouts and half the dunk session, but, I mean, I trained all summer for, or I tra yeah, trained the start of summer and spring, thinking I was going to go between the legs. I never even tried it. I figured the way I would do it, and this is definitely cheating, but I was going to do it as a pull-up. Basically, like, go under and just get to the rim or the net with this hand. And finish like that, right? I think I could do that. It's not easy, but I think I could do it. Before I got it, yeah, and I've had a lot of thoughts. Also, I realized I can use an, a cuffed arm swing. I saw Jordan Kilgannon do this also in his cuff windmill 360 or whatever. Yeah, I've realized that I can do that. I have a, I have a strong cuff, um, so it's another option to jump higher, actually. It, it lets me arm swing, so I could do that off of a ball fake, potentially. So that's something that I'm meaning to try. You guys will see that because tomorrow my buddy's rolling through the new spot and I, I, supposedly he has my hoop shoes and ball from Seattle. I know I said I was retiring. I don't really plan to get fully into things. Rather just record one session, you know, take it from there. Um, this is, I want to keep energy efficient basketball growing. It's doing nice things for me and I think there's a future to it. So I don't want to just quit more, reverse my my season, my off season, spend more time training and being in nature and much less time in the gym. But every time I go in the gym, I'll record and I'll kill it. So it makes sense. That's the game plan.